the risk that because you're not the first mover here, at least in this AI hype cycle, that you could get behind? What is the possibility, the likelihood, that you're going to spin out AWS from Amazon? I mean, Lena Khan would like it. John, when we're 80, we get a drink together. You're going to be asking me the same question, uh, whether or not it's relevant or not. But I don't have a new answer for you. We don't have any intention uh, or plan to do so. So in the AI era, why in particular? Is, is there a different kind of benefit that you get from having the e-commerce business and the cloud business in, uh, in the same structure? I mean, I know that the profits from cloud, from AWS, certainly help. What about the artificial intelligence angle? I don't think the artificial intelligence angle um, changes, you know, how you're structured as a company. I, you know, every single business unit inside of Amazon is working intensely and very broadly on generative AI. And in fact, in many ways, sharing what we're working on and what we're learning and, 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 and ways that we can be more effective for customers and models is very useful across different departments inside of Amazon. Okay, so let's talk about AI, uh, because I'm not going to, you guys haven't exactly been quiet about it because you've been talking about AI for a while, but your rivals, particularly, you know, Microsoft, Google, have been louder. Um, so Adam Solipsky, who's now heading AWS post you, said, well, this is just the first three steps, right, of, a, of an AI race, so don't pay too much attention to that. But you guys are the first movers in cloud, and you're still ahead. So you're the risk that because you're not the first mover here, at least in this AI hype cycle, that you could get behind? Well, I mean, hype cycle is pretty different than substance cycle. And, and so, you know, I, to me, I, I think Adam's right that we're just a few steps into a marathon here. But, you know, I, I, to me, I see... Uh, generative AI is one of the biggest technical transformations in our lifetimes, uh, and I think it has the ability to transform virtually every customer experience that we know. And I think most people are focused on the applications, you know, things like ChatGPT brought everybody's awareness up, but I think of generative AI as having kind of three macro layers, and I think they're all really big and important. You know, at the, at the bottom layer is the compute that all of the machine learning training and inference, which are the predictions from the models that are going to be run on. And what matters in that compute is the chip in there. And to date, there's really been one chip provider, which is, you know, the supply is more scarce and it's expensive. You're talking and, about NVIDIA. And it's, it's why we've invested over the last few years in our own customized training chips that we call Tranium and inference chips that we call Inferentia which will have much better price performance than you'll find anywhere else. We're on the second versions of those chips, and we're quite optimistic that a lot of the machine learning training and inference will be done on AWS chips and compute.